Hello, students. Hello, hello. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hello, good evening, good evening. Welcome, everyone. It's a great pleasure to be here with you, ready to practice English. And also, after vacations, we are ready to learn and maximize our skills. So welcome to everyone. It's definitely an important experience to, you know, to go back and also ready to learn English and also, you know, uh, with different goals, right? So it's uh, definitely an important time, you know, to, to learn. As you know, English is a language that has to be uh, practiced uh, all the time by different means, by different ways. So in that case, I hope that we have had fun, especially our vacation, and, and also recover energy to do a great job. Yes. Okay, let's see how many members we have right now. 12. So the, the others will be joining. Okay, that's good. That's good. And I have a question for you guys. Did you enjoy your vacation? Did you enjoy your vacation? Yes, no? Yes, I did. Okay, did you go out? Did you go to the beach or uh, a tourist attraction or a very interesting place? Do you do you eat outside uh, something interesting during vacation? Yes. Yes, yes. Tell me, tell me. I am a cookie. <laughs> cookie. Okay. All right. So, well, so let's see there. Well, actually, I was thinking about vacation. Sometimes people complain that vacation is not enough. We need more time to, to have fun. We need more time to is pain on vacations, but we need to go back. So welcome to everyone. And we're going to start because we have to respect everyone uh, who stay here since early and also responsibility that that takes to be here in a class. And uh, also I, I will introduce the topic for this class this day. And um, please don't forget to have the camera on because it's important uh, to have the camera on and ready to, and you know, work in these activities. Well, I need a volunteer for helping me to read the instructions of the goal, the general objective about this class. And also don't forget to have this camera active on. In this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation about demonstrative while shopping. Okay, so look at this. In this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation about demonstrative while shopping. So that's something interesting. One second. Look at this. Okay, one second. Okay, as part of the review, I need to share something right now. And also there is a, a feedback of the previous activity. In that case, you had to complete the sentences and also using one or once. Do you remember about one and once? Yes, one for singular. Yes, teacher. One for plural. Exactly. So as part of the feedback, because we couldn't complete the last part of the class, I took this activity in order that you work with that one. So in this moment, I want you to a uh, write one or once as a feedback and i will give you a couple of minutes to do that one and then we will socialize together these answers let's do it
Okay, so almost ready? Yes. All right. Yeah, so let's see this one. And I need a volunteer for the number one, please. Okay, I this bag is very old. I need a new one. Okay, that's cool. So you, you need um a singular one. Number two. I a small pineapples are sweeter than big ones. Okay, oh, the pineapples. Yeah, pineapples and big ones, right? Because we're talking about plural. Excellent. Number three. Number three. The, the new smartphones. Okay. Do it. Yep. Number three. The new smartphones are much faster than the old ones. Okay, then the old ones were comparing the the new smartphones and the old ones right we're talking about pluto perfect number in uh ford which, which is, your, is car? your car uh huh the black one or the white one yeah, singular for each one. So we're comparing the black and the white. Yes, the black one or the white one. Number five, uh, next. Yes. She needs new shoes. The old ones are too small. Okay, because we're talking about Pluto, we're talking about the shoes. So in that case, that will be the old ones. Excellent. Number six. If you buy two bottles of water, you get a three once free. Okay. Okay, that's cool. If you buy two bottles of water, you get the third one. Okay. Look at this one. Number seven. Dress, yeah. Sorry. These dresses are expensive. Are there any cheap ones? Okay, are there any cheap ones? Because we're talking about plural. Are there plural? So in that case, we have to use cheap, cheap ones. Great job. And the last but not the least. Yes, the last one. Me? Yes, thank you. Jack has three pens, a red one and two green ones. A red one and two green ones. Yeah, red one and two green ones. Perfect. That's great. So you know, this is um something interesting about the words. We're using one and ones, especially for singular and plural. That's right. So congratulations for that one. We'll continue because that was a topic that I just wanted to include in that case. Well, in that case, we also were studying about the demonstrative. Do you remember about the demonstrative? Also, we took a short time to write in the last class uh, for those who were in the class. And that was the last Monday. We used, for example, this, that, this, and those. Look at this. We have this, that, this, and those. If you remember, we were like studying the demonstrative ones. Do you remember what was the function of a, dem of a demonstrative adjective? Do you remember? Because we studied in the last class the demonstrative adjectives. Also, we wrote the meaning in, in English, wrote the meaning in Spanish, and also we had to decide how to use it. Um, do you remember what was the function? ¿Cuál era la función del demonstrative adjective? That and those is for 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 far things, I guess. Okay, when the objects are far, right? Are not close to you. Excellent.
And uh, what about the others? What about um, that and those? Well, we use that and those when things are far from us, when they are not closed. And when do we use this and this? When the things are close to, to us. Yes, when things are close to us, when things are close to you. Great job. That was the the way uh, of using the demonstrative adjective. So what I want you to do is to complete the sentences using this, that, this, and those. You will see the picture, and also you have to select if the object is closed or is far. Look at this one. And number one, what do you think? This is a red box. Mm -hmm. That is okay. a red box. Okay, so you can also use these, that, this, and those. I want you to try and to use, to write these, that, this, and those. And then we're going to compare it together, all right? I will give you a couple of minutes to complete it according to the picture. If you have doubts, don't worry, because at the end, we will give a feedback about this exercise. Let's do it. Are you ready to try? Yes? Yes. All right, so let's see what's going yes. on. So in that case, I'm going to show the other, um, because I need to write the answers here. One second. I have it. Okay, so it's important to use the demonstrative adjective, especially when we are in a store and we want to get something, we need to get a, a product, and there are different things that you have to show the seller that you need this specific product. So use the most adjective or not necessarily when you buy something. Imagine that you see a car or you see a house and you need to highlight that this is the house or this is the car, use the demonstrative adjectives. Look at this one, uh, look at the chat. Number one, what do you think about the number one? This is a red box. So in that case, it's singular, right? This is a, a red box, right? Using the demonstrative adjective. So you're showing that the box is called a red. Number two, what do you have for this one? That is a that, blue box. That is a blue box. Okay. Yeah. 
Number three. These, these are boxes. boxes. Somebody, microphone on. Cool, thank you. Somebody has Beatriz, I think, Diana. I don't know. Yeah, she got the microphone on. So these are the our boxes, right? And what about the number four? Those are those. Boxes. Okay, those are boxes in the last, but not the least. This is a red box and that is a blue box. This is, uh, okay. Okay, this is red box and that is a, a blue box. That's what I try to understand in that case. Look at this. Okay, look at this. Okay, so we also used in that case the demonstrative adjectives. Um, it's actually pretty simple because you had to know the meaning about each uh, demonstrative adjective and use it when objects are close or, or are far from distance. Um, before to go on to the next slide, you just want to ask you, do you have a question or it's clear for you? It's clear for me. Okay, it's thank clear. you. Yeah, it's just a, a kind of review. Yeah. It's, it's clear. Uh, it's clear, it's kind of back, uh, back half. Look at this one. We have some materials. We have different objects in English, and also it's important to know and identify the objects. For example, we have, uh, what are these things made of? That will be the equation. I need a volunteer for helping me to read this article. Who wants to help me to read the, you know, the vocabulary? Leather, rubber, silk. Yes. Okay, so in that case, we have cotton, rubber, gold, silk, uh, leather, silver, plastic, and wood. Well, in that case, we have this uh, material. And um, uh, well, I don't know if you have questions for that related to the vocabulary about materials. Yes. So we have uh, some materials or so articles. Like the number one, we have a, a plastic bracelet. We have number two, Number three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So because you see this vocabulary, I will give you a couple of minutes to uh, try to write the word in the appropriate object or material. So I will give you um, a couple of minutes to do it, and then we will socialize together this information. You can do it.
Okay, ready now? Yes. So let's see right, right now. Number two, who wants to help me with the number two? A gold ring. Okay. If I ask you, what other materials do we use, especially in rings? What other kind of material do we use in rings? The silver, too. The silver? Okay. Plastic, too, teacher. Plastic, too. There are some rings that are made of The plastic. stainless steel, too. Ah, uh, yes. That are very common and also cheap. <laughs> Number three. A silk. A silk. Tie. Tie. Ah, tie. Yes. Uh, do you um do you wear it, uh guys? Do you wear ties? <laughs> no. Sometimes. No, I don't. You don't you don't wear a tie. Okay, so a tie. Yes, that's right. So also have the what about the number four? Uh wool socks. A wool socks are very comfortable and very warm sometimes. Well, in this weather it could be a little bit challenging to wear. Do you wear as uh, uh, socks? When sleeping, sometimes, sometimes yeah. in the weather, never, never because of the of the weather. It's very very hot. Uh, this weather is so terrible. Okay, number five. What do you have for a number five here? A leather jacket. A leather jacket. Yeah. Do you wear a leather jacket? Little jacket. Do you wear them? No, I don't. No, I don't. Okay. Because of the weather? The weather is hot. All right, so that's it, right? Let's see then. And also number six. A cotton shirt. A cotton? A cotton shirt. Okay. A cotton shirt, all right. Yeah. That's cool. Number seven. Silver earrings. Silver earrings. Silver earrings. Earrings. Okay. What other materials do we have? Plastic. Plastic earrings. Okay. Gold, gold earrings. Gold earrings too. Okay you know, are very expensive, by the way. Yeah, and also luxury. So that's okay. And the last one. Roller boot. What is that? Roller boot. Okay. Robert, Robert Boots. Robert but okay so th those kind of boots are very special and um, in what kind of jobs do people wear them in what kind of jobs do, do people wear these kind of boots the work dangerous okay mm -hmm. by fire Mm -hmm. Electrician. Okay. If it's raining. Yeah, especially in, in rain. Yeah, so th those are very, very useful. Definitely that 
you know, depending on the kind of job people can wear them and also are very comfortable in one way. So that would be great. So you have identified some valuable uh, materials that most of the time we use in everything that we wear it every day. So that is uh, something interesting about this kind of materials. And also, and uh, there are some perhaps some articles that you, most of the time we don't wear. So if you um, think about some objects or uh, materials that you wear or you don't wear, for example, if you ask, I don't wear a ring because for me it's like no, not comfortable. I don't. I don't usually wear a uh, a ring. It's not so common. And also jacket. I don't wear a jacket because of the weather is so. Um, complicated because of the weather, because we live in a tropical country. And sadly, this season has been a little bit changing because supposedly we are in, in winter, but it doesn't rain. So we had to wear some clothes, uh, light clothes that are not like cold, like sweaters or, or jacket, for example. So that's something very valuable. So you can see you can see that. Do you wear a bracelet? Sometimes. Sometimes. Okay. All right. That's okay. That, that's very important. Well, so let's continue with that one because there are some things that maybe we need to talk about. And also we have uh, the following things. Complete the sentences with the following words. And you had to check the vocabulary book. Candles, meters, box, fork, bottle, chairs, bucket, briefcase, metal, plastic, letter, wool, wax, cardboard, wood, and glass, paper. So uh, what I want you to do is to check these objects and also try to complete the sentences with the following words. Are made of and you write the word, and then we have the book or the notebook, the notebook is made of, and you write the word. So you had to complete the sentence using the vocabulary and also the objects that we have right here. It's a very practical and simple exercise, but I want to ask you, um, is that clear for you to do this activity? Yes. yes. Okay, yes. so I'll give you a couple of minutes to complete it, please. And then we will socialize together each one. Let's go.
I don't teach her. Are you ready? Yes. 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 Hello? Are you ready? Yes. Yes. Okay, so, okay. Help me with that one. So we're going to use the chat. So in that case, we go with the first one. One second. One moment. All right, number one, what do you have? Uh, who wants to help me with the number one? The chairs are made of wood. Chairs, okay, the chairs are made of wood. Okay, that's okay. What other material can we use to, to make uh, chairs, for example? Plastic. Plastic. Metal. Metal. What else? Wood. Wood, yeah, and, and then what else? Do you think that bamboo can be used? Concrete, also concrete? Yes, concrete. Uh-huh, concrete, also this is another material for, you know, creating chairs. What do you think? And what about bamboo? Can be used too. What do you think? Yes. Perhaps, right? Depending on the material. Okay, great job. How, how do you say piedra in English? Stone. 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 Yeah, made of stones too. Yeah, definitely. Next one, number two. The boat is made. Of paper. The book is made of paper, right? Okay, next. The bottle is made of glass. Okay, the bottle. Do you say the bottle? It's made of the glass. bottle is made of glass. Okay, what other material can we use to, uh, to create bottles? Plastic. Plastic. Yeah. What else? Metal. Metal. What else? Wood. Can, can... Uh, aluminum. Oh, uh, uh, yes. Uh, that's another one. Definitely. Yes, this is also very common, especially with there are some bottles that are very resistant and also there are some that are made of wood. Incredible. I don't know how they do it, but they have an special 
encouraging you to create those pieces of art. Okay, look at the next one and the other side. What is the next one? Number four. The yes. Suitcase made of leather. Leather. The suitcase is made of. Leather. Okay, a letter. Okay. What else can we? The briefcase. What else can we, in the case, use? What other material can can we use? Metal. Huh? Sorry. Metal. Mm, for the briefcase. Plastic. Plastic too. Uh, perhaps plastic. Yeah, yeah, it could be, could be uh, done by plastic too. Right, next, number five. Yes? The mittens is made of wool. Ah, uh -huh. okay. The mittens are made of wool. Mm -hmm. Okay. So in a Salvador, we don't use this one, right? We don't use we don't wear them. We don't wear them. Impossible. I'm sorry? Yeah, perhaps like the Pital, for example, the mountain, the Pital Mountains, but it's, I think it won't be necessary. It's not so cold uh, in comparison to some other places. For example, to be exposed to outdoors, where it has snows, or it's extremely cold, extremely cold. So I think it won't. Then gloves. Okay. And number six. Number six. The box is made of car cardboard. Okay. The box is made of cardboard. Yeah, so sometimes people ask, teacher, how do you say uh, carton in English? Because sometimes they don't know uh, about some words. That's why you had to know about material. So in that case, we can use the carburet, right? The boxed. Okay. What other material can we use to create a, a box? Metal. Plastic. Okay. All right. So in oh. our very assistant. And also wood too. Paper. Oh. Yes. Paper too. Uh, made of paper. Okay. Glass. Let's, yeah, so it could be acceptable too. All right, that's, that's okay because there are different materials that maybe we can use. Well, we had to um, work at this one. And I want you to socialize the following questions with your partners. So I will give you a couple of minutes to discuss with your partners the following uh, questions. How often do you go shopping? Uh, who do you go shopping with? Um, do you use coupons when you're shopping? What kind of budget do you set for shopping? And where is your favorite place to shop? In este caso, pues usted va a contestar estas preguntas relacionadas a, a su información personal. Por ejemplo, ¿qué a menudo va de compras? Y usted va a explicar a sus compañeros. ¿Qué va a ser? Por ejemplo, ah, pues voy tres veces por semana, three times a week, or I go twice a week, or I, I go on weekends, 
I go shopping with my family, with friends. So you specify information because this level and you speak English, so you have to give an explanation. Entonces, este va a dar una su respuesta y la va a compartir con sus compañeros. Number two, who do you go shopping with? ¿Con quién vas a, a, a comprar o de compras? I go with my family, I go with my parents. I go with my friend, I go with my wife. So you had to explain uh, who do you go shopping with? Do you use coupons when you're shopping? Mm, well, I, I don't use coupons because in the country it is not so common. Or sometimes there are some coupons that I receive in my, in my job so I can go and get a discount or depending on the product. What kind of budget uh, do you set for shopping? ¿Qué clase de presupuesto pues, eh, tú preparas cuando vas de compras? Pues uh, usted dice ahí, bueno, yo eh, pues uh, gasto tanto o pues digo cuánto voy a gastar a la semana o en cada producto. So you have to talk about your budget. Su presupuesto. Y la última es, where is your favorite place to shop? ¿Cuál es su lugar favorito para comprar? I go to the malls. I go to this specific place because products are cheap and I feel comfortable to go there because I have uh, promotions and I just like take an advantage of all the products. So, le voy a dar eh, unos minutitos para que lo puedan compartir con sus compañeros de grupo y luego lo socializamos. Yes? Yes, yes. ¿Alguien puede tomarle foto para compartirlo en el grupo? Thank you. Yes? Again, okay, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. All right. So, well, so let's work in small groups and you have five minutes to socialize, you know, this information here in the groups. Remember it, be natural to talk and participate actively. Así que vamos a crear los breaker rooms y socializamos las respuestas. Is that okay? Yes? Yes, teacher. Okay, thank you. Let's go. Lo respondo yo si quieren. Ok. Ok. Eh, how often do you go shopping, Omar? Oscar, perdón. I go shopping once a week. 
Who do you go shopping with? I go shopping with my wife. With your wife? Yep. Why do you like to go with her? Because she uh, shoes or select the right articles we need in the kitchen and the house. Okay. Um, I have another I don't question. Know anything about <laughs> cook. Okay. Catherine? Uh, do you use coupons when you are shopping? Um, oh, 50, 50 or 75 dollars. Uh, Please. Every week. Okay. Uh huh. Y ahora la compañera no puede contestarnos. Sí. Eh, but we have Ana y Cela Yanes. Yes. Estaba en otro grupo y de repente ya aparecí en el de ustedes. <risa> ok. Eh, ¿Me preguntan o les pregunto o cómo? Ah, le preguntamos. <risa> Está bien. How often do you go shopping? Uh, once a week. Um, who do you go shopping with? Um, with my husband. Okay. Do you use coupons when you are shopping? Uh, no, they use coupons. No. Okay. Uh, what kind of budget do you set for shopping? And a moderate budget. Okay. Um, where is your favorite place to shop? Um, the market and uh, supermarket. Uh, puede ser uh, super select.
okay, students, we're about to finish the class, so I need to uh, ch to check the attendance list. Don't forget to say present. Well, tomorrow we'll have a short time to speak. We will have a conversation. And also I need you to produce the language to practice. That's one of the points of this one. So I just gonna be, oh, I just gonna be and also Ana Isela Janes. Present. Ana Ruth Perez. Ana, Ruth. Ana Ruth Perez. En el chat respondió, teacher. Okay. Uh, Carlos Ernesto Flores. Carlos Ernesto. Eh, David Alejandro Rodríguez. Here. David Rafael Ramos. Present. Diana Beatriz Reyes. Present. Diana Cristabel Meléndez. Present. Eric Javier Ventura. Eric. Present. Eh, Fiorella Alejandra Crespín. Fiorella Alejandra. Gerardo José Tepas. I'm here. Henry Alejandro Flores. Henry Alejandro Flores. Ingrid eh, Magdalena Castellanos. Present teacher. Ok, Jorge Francisco López. Present. Jorge Francisco. Present. No está. Juana Margarita. Catherine Suleima Poca Sangre. Present. Catherine Nicole Salazar. Present teacher. Thank you. Katy Jordana Dos Cruces. Present teacher. Thank you. Laura Lisset Peña. Laura, no está. Lorena Araceli Hernández. Present teacher. Thank you. Mirna Jasmine Portillo. Present teacher. Thank you. Oscar Otoniel Cruz. Present. Thank you. Um, Reina Jael Arevalo. Present. Roberto Carlos Alfaro. Present. Sebastiana Guadalupe Aguilar. Present. Tatiana Abigail Rodríguez. Tatiana Abigail. No está. Úrsula Adriana Burgos. Eh, teacher, ella dijo que no se iba a conectar porque estaba enferma. Ok. Thank you. Wendy Lisette Hernández. Present. Thanks. Appreciate it. Okay, students, thank you so much to be here. I uh, hope to see you tomorrow. Excellent. Congratulations for this effort. And tomorrow we're going to be practicing a little bit more and we will socialize to, uh, more information about English. So uh, have a beautiful night to all of you and, and see you tomorrow. Good night. Thank you, Tisha. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.